Good morning. It looks like fall has arrived. This is just so beautiful to look at. This is our first fall here. And these chicks are just antsy to get out. The new ones are just fine. But these that have spent so much time outside really want to go explore. But we're going to keep them in here for a couple more days. This is your home. That's right. You guys stay here. They've got food and water. So they'll be okay. Um, I guess there's no point in checking for eggs since none of the chickens that spent the night in here could lay any. Hey guys, be nice to your little pals. Yeah. yeah. Peak's purpose on the homestead. They've been our biggest... Jeannie must have hit a wire or uh, something sharp. Peak's purpose here on the homestead. They, uh, they've been our biggest profit here so far. We've sold Miss Piggy's babies. And... Uh, there's another one out here somewhere that one of her babies that we're going to use for breeding, not breeding, but for meat here in about, uh, I'd say four to five months. And on top of that, they're good for clearing out land. You know, if you want a little muddy spot here, I actually need to expand their area. I've talked about that before. I need to stop talking about it and just do it. But something else we're going to do uh, different for the pigs is their food. I've been giving them a mixture of corn and uh, livestock commodity mix and occasional eggs. Um, they like it, but it would be best for them to forage. So that's the reason for expanding their lot. And um, also on top of that, I, there's a meal... Um, kind of local from around here that we just recently found out about. They do a, a more mixture for specialty for pigs, which is, I think, corn, soybean, and a few other things that are better for pigs because a diet of mainly corn is what they're getting now. There's not much in here. He comes. Whoa. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's a sheep. She has gotten so big. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nope. Dad, look. That's not nice, Mr. Pig. Dad, look. This, this is how deep the whole, the mud pole for Mr. Pig is. Yeah. I measured it. Wow, that's, that's a, that's pretty big. That's, that's their main source of water, too, which, uh, I mean, I would give them fresh, clean water every day. But the thing is, they root up so much, their noses are all nasty and muddy, and they just ruin the um, ruin the water anyway. So, doesn't seem much use in doing that if we're getting free rainwater. Free rainwater. Yeah, Abby wants to show you her her lookout. Don't fight. There's plenty for everybody. Good job. Thanks. There you are. Yeah, if this doesn't look familiar in our spread of the homestead, this land is not ours. It's right beside it, actually. Good part about it is, it belongs to my dad. But he's leasing it out to uh, someone who's raising his cows. So, uh, we probably should get them out of there. How did you get out of here? You've been, they've been inside their enclosure for such a long time. It's kind of funny that now they're, now that they're out here where we, the part that's not our land, now they're working on the brush. Okay, I better get these guys over where they belong. And then there's goats. Their purpose on the homestead, milk 
and producing babies and uh, clearing out the land. This has been our least successful animal here on the homestead. Uh, to be honest, we really weren't, I don't think we were really prepared for goats and didn't know what a challenge they would be. Um, but we learn from it and we move on. So we're gonna try raising, uh, I can't remember the name of those, those miniature little goats that everything looks like are adorable. It's a uh, half breed with something else. Um, these are uh, Nubian. Sell those and uh, get their milk from them too. We it wasn't a total loss though. Um, they're great for clearing out land. For some reason, these eat more grass than they do brush. I can't explain that one. And um, we did get milk from them, and we did get a baby from Harmony. Unfortunately, he passed away because, well, we didn't know he was sick right away, and we didn't get the medicine to him quick enough. Um, actually, to tell you the truth, those haven't been so bad here on the homestead. It's the, it's the bucks. If you remember Gilbert, if you've been following us, uh, he was a... He was a jerk, or so we thought. Come to find out, you haven't met a jerk goat until you met Scooter. He was just plain old mean. Do not do that. That is so mean. Is she being mean to you? Abby would not like that at all. She saw that. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're not going back through the fence. One goat escape a day is my limit. I prefer none, but, you know. Alright. You guys enjoy that. Stay in here, okay? There's nothing more special out there than there is in here. Enjoy. Then we have our egg-laying chickens. We've got an ice of brown there. Baby's all huddled, huddled in the corner. You better be nice to them. No, you leave them alone. But, uh, yeah, our chickens give us a constant source of eggs. And, um, in a pinch, they can serve as meat birds. All right. You guys are safe now. You guys go forge. Enjoy your day. Something I forgot to mention about the chickens, or where they help here on the homestead, is um, they really help the tick population. They, they really go after them. Um, now, you're never going to get all the ticks out of this. This is a big farm. And uh, out in the fields, it's pretty much inevitable sometimes. But here in the yard, we let them free range and forage. And they get uh, a lot of the ticks for us. So, thanks a lot. Don't be much ticks now because uh, a lot cooler weather and starting to... They're all starting to die off. And Jenny, Jenny is a great guard dog. She keeps our animals where they need to be. And she warns us if anybody's coming by. Yeah, she's a great fluffy dog. The only thing is she's spoiled rotten and she needs all the attention, don't you? Yeah. I need the attention. I love the attention. I'll work for you. I'll be kind to you and play with you, but I need the attention. She's a good dog. She's just spoiled is what it is. Yeah, are you a spoiled dog? Yeah. So, our meat birds. Their purpose is basically to grow big. And we can use them for meat when they get big enough. Guess what I'm cooking in here? You see that nice little boil? Here, I'll open it up for you. That's nothing but the bones in, well, some of the meat from the chicken we had last night. And it's cool because it was a chicken that we raised and we butchered and took care of and everything. And it was quite delicious. A lot of people add 
herbs and other flavors like onion and celery and whatnot here. Um, I don't like to because I use this in a variety of ways, but um, it's really just a matter of putting in the chicken bones and filling up the whole pot with water and then letting it simmer for... I like to wait until the carcass kind of falls out because then you get all that really good... Um, I forget what it's called, but I'll add it here. <laughs> um, but it's really, really good for you. And if you get enough of it, you get like this, um, when it is in the fridge, it'll kind of get jello-y, which sounds nasty, but that just means you have all of that good stuff in it. Anyway, um, so yeah, all part of the homesteading experience. We have ex some exciting news on the homestead. It's time on my old Kentucky homestead to pick a winner for, for the hail. Bum, bum, bum. Drum roll, please. Oh, this is perfect. It says tamp on the inside. And, <laughs> and to so, here's what we're going to do today. We went, we got 119 pounds of meat. Yep. Boston so. butt, tenderloin, bacon, sausage, you name it, we got it. And of course, ham. And that is what the drawing is for today because we had several very generous people who came and brought their scraps or things from the garden or whatnot mm. to help feed our pig. So we have those names right here. There are 10 entries. And now one lucky person will be fed from that pig that you help feed. All right. You turn those scraps into ham. Abby, are you ready? Put it, put it, put it way up here. Now reach in. Yeah, you can't see. Who, Who is, is the, the lucky, lucky winner? winner? Look at the camera. Vicky! Vicky, you've you got a ham. ham coming to you. Um, we'll reach out to you and we'll get a good time to get this going. But congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, thanks, y'all. And those of you that didn't win, keep sending in those scraps because we're going to slaughter <laughs> Another pig, and we we might we might do this drawing again. We we haven't talked about that. We I might do it now. again. Let's do yeah. it again. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye bye. Bye.